the house lights were on before, and it's nice to see a young audience. You know, usually my audience is uh, the average age is deceased. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Please. Ah, oh, thank you. Don't clap too loudly. This is a very old building. Marvelous. Can I have a show of hands of all the married ladies, please? Just the married ladies. Put up your hands for a second. Just the married ladies only. I just want to see who you are, so I don't waste my time after the show. I couldn't believe it. You know, my high school reunion, people I hadn't seen for so long, I thought, I'm going to go to this. I had a sweetheart in high school, folks. A girl called Stella. And I thought, no, maybe she might be there. So I go to my, I go to my high school reunion, folks. And there she was, Stella, still beautiful, still vibrant and gorgeous. I said, how you doing? She says, I'm divorced now, you know? I said, well, I didn't tell her about my wife. I said, do you want to go out one night? She says, sure. Let's go to the driving. Marvelous. I pick her up at 8 o'clock the next night, folks, and up we go to the driving. I'm prepared, you know, I'm prepared. I take a bottle of scotch with me. And we're sitting there, the movie starts, and I say, uh, Stella, you want to you wanna get in the back? She says, no, no, no. So I give her a little bit of a drink, you see? I wait about five minutes, Stella, you want to go in the back? She says, no, no, thank you, no. So I give her another drink, a bit more scotch, and she starts to swagger. Stella, you want to go in the back? She says, no. I said, what's the problem? She says, I want to stay in the front with you. <laughs> All right, folks, there's these two.